Hey YouTube, it's ICU and today I'm going to show you guys an awesome application that is for your iPad only and it is called iSwifter. So I'm going to go ahead and actually demonstrate uh, something for you guys really quick. Basically this application works to actually let you watch Flash video and also play Flash games and just basically enjoy Flash content and it is 100% free and it definitely dominates over applications such as Skyfire because Skyfire actually takes quite some time to redirect it through their server and then play it back to you in an HTML5 format whereas this just goes super fast and it works 100%. So I'm actually on projectfreetv.com right now and I have a episode of Chuck right here with Zshare and I'm going to go ahead and click close to play and you'll notice that nothing happens. I just get a completely blank white spot there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and copy this link really quick and then I'm going to go ahead and head on over to iSwifter. Now keep in mind that this iSwifter app does look cartoonish and it doesn't look professional at all. However, that is not the case. This application is amazing and it is probably uh, my favorite app for the iPad as of now. So basically just ignore this section over here where it says play games because that is irrelevant and 100% useless because most of the games you have to actually pay for anyway. So just don't even worry about that section over there. You're interested in browse websites. So from here you can uh, browse websites and enjoy every single website in its flash rich content and uh, again basically every single thing that's flash works a hundred percent. So all you have to do is just let it load up and then from there you can go ahead and simply uh, play your content. Now obviously it just works like a standard web browser and you just click things to get it done and uh, close to play there and you can make it full screen as well. Here it is I'm going to pause it and turn on the volume and uh, I'm going to try and turn it up all the way and see if my microphone will pick up on it so you guys can hear that again it does support audio as well. So I have the volume turned up and I'm going to go ahead and hit play now. So as you guys just witnessed, this is a flash video that is streaming on my iPad. It works. It's perfect. It doesn't lag at all. And that is partially because of my fast Wi-Fi network. However, it basically shouldn't lag for you no matter what. I have tried it over 3G and it does lag at times. However, if you do have a 3G reception that is good, it will work. So uh, the only thing that I found is that's annoying is when you're watching a video, this bar up here doesn't go away. However, I think they will definitely fix that in future updates of this and also you've got to keep in mind that this is a free application. So now I'm going to give you guys an example with Hulu. Now Hulu is a completely different story. Hulu doesn't even load at all. I'm going to go ahead and try and load Hulu up and I will get blocked by this message. Now I can go ahead and hit continue to browse. However, that obviously is pointless. It does not do anything whatsoever because I can click it but I can't watch any videos at all. So I'm going to go ahead and search for the cape and show you guys that it does not work and it's basically just a waste of your time. Hulu just wants to monetize on their videos if you are on a mobile device such as an iPad or an iPhone and it will not let you watch videos. As you can see here it says to watch videos on this iPad please uh, subscribe to Hulu Plus. You can learn more already Hulu Plus download the app continue to browse already downloaded. So obviously I don't want to do that and I don't want to pay the eight dollars a month to actually watch Hulu videos so I just copied that link there and now I'm heading back to iSwifter and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that it actually does work on the iPad without having to pay that fee and uh, it is actually just completely awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and just let it load up and show you guys that again, like I've been saying, it does work. And obviously you can make it full screen as well. So it does have advertisements. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait for the advertisements to finish and I'll be back. So as you can see, the video does work right here. It is lagging a tad bit. However, the audio isn't really lagging much. I'm going to go ahead and pause it really quick and turn on the volume and put the microphone up to it so you guys can hear it. What is this, an appetizer? We have 
had some unforeseen difficulties. That shouldn't change the weight of Mark's envelope. Gotcha. Very well, this watching is about to get the exclusive of the decade. Now this application is amazing and there are only a few drawbacks to it. The first drawback is that it's kind of hard to navigate. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the first website and as you'll see it is definitely hard to pinpoint things and also to scroll down. I'm going to try and scroll down here and as you can see it highlighted that text there. So it definitely is hard. See look it's just highlighting all of that text right there. It's definitely hard to navigate at times and also to get pinpoint point accuracy it is somewhat hard as well uh, you can zoom in though and that does help a little bit but as you can see it still is actually pretty laggy and uh, it's laggy basically no matter what it's just because of the application it's definitely not because of the device because again I am on an iPad 2 which is basically supercharged compared to the original iPad so uh, that's really my only complaint though and the fact that that bar up there doesn't go away if you're watching videos but other than that I think the uh, development team for iSwifter will fix that in future updates and again I mean come on it's free and it works amazing and it's already 10 times better than Skyfire so I hope you guys like this video please remember to rate it up if you liked it let me know what you think in the comment section below and be sure to hit the subscribe button to see more of my videos so again hope you guys like this video and until next time this is ICU signing out